All right, Dreyfus, Coach mentioned at the beginning of the year about growth at the position. You've watched everybody. Since you've been here, you've watched guys come in and be in front of you, and you've taken everything that they've given you as far as information. You've watched from the sideline, carried the clipboard. You've called plays. Start the season off. You head out to Notre Dame, and you wake up in the middle of the game, and you realize, like, okay, I'm in charge now. It's my gig. It's time to take ownership. From that point on to now, just talk about the growth process through the season. I just think the maturation process has been one that uh, you would expect from a quarterback to get his first start uh, this season, you know, his second start this season, but really my first. Uh, I think that it's something that uh, has happened so fast, but you appreciate, you learn to appreciate the struggle that you faced in the beginning because. You know, it just shows you that, you know, I'm, it just showed me personally that I can triumph anything when I set my mind to it. And I was able to, uh, throughout this whole process, just listening to Coach Edmondson and Coach Baylor, and kind of sticking to my, my, my core values. Uh, these things, it just made it easier. It made it easier for me. And then having the teammates that I have, uh, it just allows me to grow have fun and think outside of myself like I don't, I don't I get to be myself around these guys and when I'm allowed to be myself it allows me to play the way I want to play. How much is that attributed back to what you went through in, in high school you know being in the playoffs like you said playing in large stadiums and on, on a regular basis and then stepping into the college level where a lot of guys don't see those type of crowds until they get to college but you had the opportunity to, to at least see you know, 20 or 15,000 folks in the stands, the stands packed and people standing around, can't find a seat, mm -hmm. and then hearing that, that, that roar and all in, in your ear. I mean, it, it's, it's really unmatched, though, cause the way that, that, I mean, playing with a big crowd, was, you you think, okay, this is fine, but when you actually get there and actually seeing and hearing 100,000 fans, it's unlike anything else. I think that after the, the Notre Dame game, I was good because I knew what to expect going to the A&M game. You know, I wasn't as nervous as that jitter, um, but just playing in front of that crowd, you, you can't replicate that at all. High school does not touch uh, the, 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 the crowd that you would be playing against. For some people, you know, that big crowd make them nervous. For me, it was more, I was more anxious than anything. I was more, I had anxiety. It wasn't like uh, I was nervous to play or anything. Like I was nervous to get hit. I just, I needed to get hit one time and I needed to be able to throw the ball a couple times just to get my feet wet. And then once I got, I was able to do that. I just, you know, I kind of stepped out the pool and then I cannonballed in there and I was ready to go. I kind of hit the ground running from there. Now, you all have had the two breaks. Uh, there was a strange season. Normally just have one one break during the season. This this year, everybody's got had two. What do you see for this team heading into conference play and finishing out? Now that they're, uh, you know, guys, like I said uh, earlier, earlier in the season, you guys were nagging injuries, injuries, you know, guys not start, not being able to play, guys not being able to finish game. Now you're about starting to get healthy and finishing out. I don't want to say I see potential. I just, I see, I see hunger. I see guys seeing what we're capable of. I see some guys understanding that we can be a lot better than the way that, we, that we've been playing. You know, and I've seen guys learning from their mistakes. People have remained unselfish. They haven't really, you know, I haven't had any hassles on, you know, I want the ball here, I want the ball there. Like, guys have stuck to the court and understand that they're playing, and we're playing for each other. So I think that if we continue to do that, then we're going to do fine in conference. We just got to remain, you know, keep the mantra that we have one and off. We get to thinking that we know we're, you know we're better than what we are. Man, we gotta go go back to the mantra one and and understand that just a couple years ago we were the four and eighteen. You know we were the six and sixteen, but we gotta improve upon on, upon everything that we had uh, before and you know continue to play the way that we that we know we, the way we know we can play. Speaking of that, that, that has been the next segment. Two years ago, you all were pretty much everybody's homecoming. Last year. You know, it was like, okay, they can play, but it's still right. Yeah. Then you all win conference. Mm -hmm. Now, instead of being the hunter, you all are hunting. Yeah. You got talking on your back. Yeah. And you all have pretty much have taken ownership of it all. What's it been like to, to have that atmosphere going through your mind and then putting it, taking it out on Saturday and just getting it done? Try not to think about it. 
To be honest, we want to let, have our, you know, we want this team to have its own identity, its own legacy. And I think that we're kind of paving that way for ourselves this year because we kind of got away from a lot of the things, not a lot of the things that we used to do, but we, as far as scheme, but as far as the attitude that we've had in the past, it's a lot different. You know, the relationships on the team are a lot different. So we, we try to build our, we want to really want to build our own identity and kind of not forget about what happened last year, but, uh, you know, not try and carry that with us because, you know, the moment I feel like you start to think about things like that, you get complacent, you feel entitled. And we don't want to have that. Uh, in, in, if we're trying to accomplish, we're trying to accomplish. All right, last thing is about Rice itself. Why Rice? The, what other options did you have? Uh, what were the other opportunities before you? I had a number of schools. A lot of big schools wanted to recruit me to play safety. I don't want to say their names, you know, because I don't, yeah, I don't want I any issues. But, but yeah, a lot of big schools wanted me to play safety, and I decided not to go. Uh, simply because I want to play quarterback and Rice and maybe one, one or two other schools or other schools are going to allow me to play quarterback and uh, my whole thinking was I want to play quarterback I want to try to play quarterback in, in the NCAA if it doesn't work out I'm not good enough I can accept that but I at least want to be given the opportunity and Rice did give me the opportunity and they you know they seemed the promise in me even when I didn't see it you know when I was ready to ready to move positions because I wasn't playing but those they kind of stay, made me stick not made me stick to it but they told me the importance that I felt on the team and had me stick to it and I'm reaping the benefits of it today. And your major, why did you choose it? Uh, sports management major. Uh, I feel like, with, you know, kind of thing, some of the things I want to do after I graduate as far as um, sales and marketing, that stuff was the best option for me in addition to probably possibly being able to get into real estate or even oil and gas. And, like, these are all things that I considered uh, when I made the change. I was originally a health science major, but I changed in uh, my sophomore, sophomore year. And I'm a couple of hours away from graduating. Well, if someone has started out in oil and gas once they got out of school, it will allow you to retire full time mm -hmm. around the age of 50 yeah. and then just live out your day doing what you want to do exactly. instead of being told to. Yeah. Uh, reintroduce yourself and we'll close this out. Uh, my name is Dreyfus Jackson. I'm a redshirt junior at, at Rice University and I'm starting quarterback. And this is Jerry Lee Woodley Jr., the College Sports Report. Thanks for your time. No problem.